What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Greenhouse Saga Sunday. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the greenhouse offer, we're gonna talk about his counter offer, and we're gonna talk about how we got that sucker under contract. The saga continues. Okay, so today me and Elsa here are gonna talk about the original offer I put in, the counter offer the guy uh, countered back with, how long I waited to put in my next offer, and how we got this sucker under contract. Okay, so for the last few weeks we've been talking about my plan with this greenhouse. Now look, I've edited it down to like, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minute videos for you, but the reality of it is I have a ridiculous amount of time going into this plan. This is not something that you just jump quickly into, okay? All right, now look, I'm not gonna bore you all with all the details about the financing that goes into getting a greenhouse when you're self-employed. This is an aquarium channel, but I do want you all to know just a little bit of it. So here's the highly abbreviated version. If you're a bank and you wanna lend to somebody, you wanna lend to something that if something goes wrong, you have an easy out. This greenhouse is not that, okay? This is a greenhouse that has sat vacant for 10 years. Uh, it was like extremely hard to get an appraisal on it. And banks are like, eh, I don't know if I really wanna touch that. So traditional banks are somewhat out for this, or at least way more leery, the rates are way terrible, okay? So getting someone to actually want to finance this property that sat vacant for 10 years is a bit of an issue. Agricultural financing is a bit more difficult to do. However, when you can actually get the loans, the rates are better than conventional loans typically and they're more lenient with farmers. This would actually be a farming property, but I had to go find a bank to do that. I also had to leverage another property out of state, which took a bit of doing as well. So I have, what you're seeing in a very short video here is actually a ridiculous amount of time dealing with bankers. It's the same thing as getting your prostate checked as far as I'm concerned. So getting the financing done with this, while I told you very briefly, was actually a huge pain in the butt. And I had to get all the financing in place before I actually got down to a number. Let's talk about that. Okay, so agricultural financing comes at a pretty good rate, but it's somewhat difficult to get. I not only had to finance the actual building and the structure, which people are like, oh, it's that vacant for 10 years, I don't know if I really want to touch it, but I also had to get capital to do the improvements, to either buy the vats or make the racers, uh, the electrical and all that, we'll talk about all that. But there had to be money aside as well, not just the actual move-in cost, but the stuff to fix it up, add vents, and all the stuff we're gonna talk about in a later video. If you're just coming into this video and checking it out, click the links around here and check out the saga where I talk about what I want, what I don't want. There's a lot of things that I want in this next greenhouse that I have to have the money set aside and approved before I go in for my second offer. Okay, so let's rewind the tape back here, back to May. You'll see the snow on the ground. This is being filmed in January, okay? In May, I put an offer in on his asking price of 150,000. I put an offer in at $75,000. That's great, that's half price. Now, we finally get on the dance floor when he counters me at 98. Now look, many of you have posted some fantastic comments and I'd love to hear more comments from you in the comments below. But here is a lesson I think you all really need to take to heart in any sort of negotiating situation and that is this. I go in at 75, he counters at 98. Now we know where the fight begins, okay? Two people have thrown punches, we're going battle. Forget the violent analogy, let's talk soft, let's talk chicks, all right? This is just like the hot girl you are talking to at the bar. You're cracking jokes, you're buying her drinks, you're having a good time, she's nodding and smiling, okay? I go in at 75, he counters at 98. Him countering at 98 is like the girl asking, what are you doing later, okay? And what do you do? You turn around and walk away. You walk away. I knew where he was at 98 and I walked away. And the whole time I'm going through this negotiating process, I'm thinking about how sick of videos I can make, how I can set up a new aquarium every day. I've got a sick piece of driftwood. Hey, you wanna, instead of watching a video of me, why don't you just come to my place and we can actually hang out? You wanna buy something in person? Cool, I'm here. I'm here to actually see a live human being. You wanna come to a little live aquascaping contest I'm doing in Dustin's greenhouse? Yeah, that would be fabulous. Come see me. You wanna go buy some plants and pick out your own stuff? Great, come to Dustin's greenhouse some Saturday and we'll hang out. All of these thoughts, all of these dreams, all these things that I'm craving emotionally are screaming at me to counter with this guy, put another counter back in on his 98 offer. I took it, I bit my tongue, and I walked away. Do you know how hard that was? Yep, folks. Just like the hot chick at the bar now, gee. Dusty bit his tongue. 
He put away all of his dreams, his hopes, and all that stuff, and he focused on getting a good deal. And I walked away. I walked away for six months. Now let me explain some of the psychology going into this. Okay. Well, first things first, there's a psychological element that I want to play with the seller in this situation. I want him to see me come in, make an offer, and then walk away. I want his head spinning. I want him to think, oh my God, that's the first guy that's offered me any money on this property in 10 years. How did I let him get away? Why didn't I go lower? I did achieve that. There's a couple other things going on with this property as well. One, now that I've got the offer in and I've got his counter, I know where he stands. Now, there still is a big difference between 75 grand and 98 grand, okay? So I've got to factor that in because I need to get my actual costs sharpened. And I'm talking super duper sharp, okay? We got to figure out what is everything going to cost? What's the electric going to cost? You can see the electric has been removed from this property. There's no electric available. Does it even work? What about these units out here? Do these things work? How much are the vats going to be? What's it going to cost to heat it? Uh, does it need a septic tank? Does it need a driveway? All of these are big high dollar items that I need to factor. Factor two is this summertime came. Okay. I'm able to keep some plants outside. Life gets a little bit easier. And finally, number three, I kind of touched on this. Folks, there are no other buyers around for this property. I am the market, ain't nobody else, excuse the ain't, in Fayette County trying to buy this greenhouse, okay? I am the only one in the area looking to purchase a greenhouse. I am in the driver's seat. Patience is a virtue. Good things come to those who wait. And I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited. But what am I doing in that six month window between I put my first offer in and my second offer in? I'm planning, I'm scheming. In the words of Abraham Lincoln, again, quoted twice, if you give me six hours to chop down a tree, I'll spend the first four hours sharpening my ax. You want to switch from Abraham Lincoln? You want to go to Wu-Tang? You want to go to the RZA? RZA, 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 sharp. Yeah, I put Wu-Tang and Abraham Lincoln together in the same video. I know you love it. So yeah, the whole time I'm planning, I'm scheming, I'm working out the financing, I'm working out down to the penny of how much each one of these units and things that I need to get done on this greenhouse is going to cost me, and I'm getting the dollars ready to the penny on the plumbing, the electric, and all the stuff that goes into it. Now, you wanna hear how the fish tank gods shine down on your boy Dusty? Here it comes. Now, it's around November 4th or 5th, around the time of the aquatic experience. I'm in my wife's black Toyota Sienna minivan and I'm heading up to Chicago. Three things happened on this epic day. First, I got to hang out an actual real life person not staring at a camera lens, people who watch my videos and say what's up and I had an epic time. The second thing, thanks to our friends at Custom Aquarium, who know about this whole deal by the way going on, I get my hands on my very first 320 gallon aquarium, okay? I'm meeting fish tank people live in person, Two, I'm getting a 320 gallon aquarium put in the back of a minivan. And three, while I am up in Chicago at the lovely aquatic experience, my banker hits me up with a text saying that both the appraisal on the greenhouse came through and the appraisal on the estate property I'm leveraging, all the financing came through with money to spare for all the fixing it up. One, I'm seeing fish tank people live. Two, I got a 320 gallon aquarium. And three, the financing on this big monster greenhouse is approved. You know how great of a day that was for Dusty? There's more to the story. So the day after the aquatic experience, I feel like a fetus, but I managed to come home with energy reserves and put in an offer on this greenhouse. I put the offer in six months after my first offer. Keep in mind the analogy of talking to the hot chick at the bar and then walking away. This strategy works. And I walk away, I came back, I put a second offer in six months later for $80,000. And yes, my friends, he accepted without rebuttal, without a counter, my offer at 80 grand. We got that sucker under contract. I would love to tell you that the story just ends right there. Click the subscribe button to find out more about how this thing ends. Drop me a comment on what you think so far. But this deal had a little bit of hair on it. Let me know what you think so far, folks. Tank on.